Experts say we will one day be getting COVID boosters, much like the flu shot. But when will that day come? Seven investigator Heather Catalo with more on the science of immunity and the logistics of booster approvals. Last month, we told you about Sherry Holland. Sherry is a local healthcare worker who came down with COVID, even though she was vaccinated. I broke the CDC rules and got a little confident, overly confident, and ended up, um, ended up spending some time with a friend who was unvaccinated indoors without masks. While breakthrough cases can happen, they are incredibly rare. So a bigger question looms around Sherry's incident. Had she lost immunity? As a nurse, um, I've been vaccinated, really one of the first people that in the community that's been vaccinated. So I've been vaccinated since about November. As of Tuesday, 45% of people in Michigan age 12 and over are fully vaccinated. The news comes as our state sees its COVID numbers and deaths finally drop. But we all want to know, when will we lose our immunity? If a large proportion of vaccinated individuals have a significant drop in the neutralizing antibody titers or the amount of immunity, they're going to probably start recommending boosters. A booster is a second or third or fourth or even fifth shot after the original introduction of an antigen. After the immune system is seen what we call an antigen. An antigen is anything, anything foreign to our body, whether it's a vaccine, a medication, or any foreign part of like pollen, or bee sting, et cetera. Upon re-exposure, the immune system then has a more significant response because it's already seen it before. Currently, the FDA has only approved two shots for Moderna and Pfizer and one for Johnson & Johnson. That means you can't just show up at a CVS and demand a third shot because you're concerned about immunity. But right now, each of the pharmaceutical companies are in the midst of studying those additional booster shots. Pfizer began testing third shot boosters in February. Moderna says they hope to have a booster available in the fall. I know everybody wants answers. It's too early and it's sort of day by day we get more and more information and that's what we're stuck with. Research Researchers still don't know how long our protection from the virus lasts once we're fully vaccinated. That's why experts still recommend measures like social distancing and other safety precautions. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much.